Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 12.2, Problem 10. This is Section 12.2, Problem Number 10. It says, find the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 1 over 2x to the fifth power minus 9 times 8x to the third power plus 5x. <clears throat> this function is a combination of a product rule and a quotient rule. Overall, it is a quotient problem. It has a numerator and a denominator. But the denominator is made up of a product. So you could take the few minutes it would take and foil out the denominator, and then it's just a regular quotient rule. Um, but it's good practice to be able to do this and, and tie both rules together. So this is a quotient. The top of the quotient is typically represented with a, a u, and the bottom of the quotient is represented with a v. <coughs> And the quotient rule is f prime of x equals v u prime minus u v prime, which I'm going to draw in red. There's going to be a little extra work to make the v prime because v is a product. So I make it in a different color. And then the denominator of the quotient rule is v squared. So this is what we're going to fill in, v u prime minus u v prime over v squared, where the v prime is going to be a little bit of extra work, so I wrote it in a different color to make it stand out a little bit. So f prime of x equals, first is v. No prime, just v. v, the denominator, is 2x to the fifth power minus 9, in parentheses, times 8x to the third plus 5x, also in parentheses. So what I have written so far is v with no prime. The next part of my formula is going to be u prime. So again, u is the top of my function or numerator, u prime is the derivative of the numerator. So the numerator is x squared plus 6x minus 1. The derivative of the x squared is 2x to the first. Again, the exponent of 2 comes down times the number in front, which is 1, which isn't written, but it's understood to be 1x squared. So there's my 2. 2 times 1 is 2. x, 1 less power. Second power drops down to a first power. The plus 6x becomes plus 6. Again, when you have uh, something with just an x to the first power, its derivative is whatever the number in front of the x is. There's my 6. The minus 1 has a derivative of 0. Whenever there's no x involved, the derivative is 0. So the 2x plus 6 is the u prime part of the formula. Next piece is minus u with no prime. So u with no prime is the top with no prime. u is the top of numerator, so it is x squared plus 6x minus 1. And then times v prime. So v is the denominator. And v prime, the derivative of the denominator, will require the product rule. So usually, products are written as u times v. And the product rule says the derivative is u prime v plus u v prime. Too many u's and v's. That would be confusing. You could do it. But let's call the first part of the product a and the second part of the product b. So to apply my product rule in my red part of the problem will be a prime b plus a b prime. So again, usually that's written u prime v plus u v prime. I don't want to reuse the same variables. So the first part of my product, the a prime, 
is the derivative of the a, the first chunk of my product. The derivative of 2x to the fifth minus 9 will be 10x to the fourth. Now again, where did that 10x to the fourth come from? The 2x to the fifth has a derivative of 10x to the fourth. The exponent of 5 comes down times the number in front of 2. 5 times 2 is 10. x to the 1 less power, that fifth power, drops down to a fourth power. The minus 9 has a derivative of 0. Again, whenever there's no x involved in what you're taking the derivative of, the derivative is 0. So really, it's 10x to the fourth minus 0, which we don't need to write. So the 10x to the fourth is my a prime. Next, I'm going to have b. b is the second chunk of my product. So no prime, just b is 8x to the third plus 5x. So that's b. So now I'm here, plus. a with no prime, a with no prime is 2x to the fifth minus 9. And then finally, b prime. So b is the second chunk of the product. b prime is the derivative of that second chunk of the product. The second chunk of the product is 8x to the, fifth, uh, to the third plus 5x. So the 8x to the third gives me a derivative of 24x to the second. That 24x to the second is coming from the exponent of 3 comes down times the number in front, which is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. x to the one less power, that third power drops down to a second power. And then the 5x becomes just 5. Close the parentheses. Because of the plus here, let me make sure that I indicate I'm multiplying the entire answer for, remember, this is for v prime. All this work in my brackets is v prime. And now, the denominator, back to my original formula, is v squared. So v is the denominator of my, my function. So I'm going to copy that denominator as is. There's no prime, just v squared. 2x to the fifth minus 9 in parentheses times 8x to the third plus 5x in parentheses. Let's put that whole thing into bigger parentheses, or we could use brackets, and raise that to the second power. Now that's the v squared, and now that's the whole answer. That's f prime of x.